And welcome back, everyone. As I said, we're going to the kitchen to make pizza. Cammy, uh, you're kind of throwing me for a loop here because I do see some things that I recognize from pizza, <laughs> but I'm not I'm not seeing like one important thing. So you're going to have to fill me in on what's All going right, on. All right, I know what you're asking about. You're asking about the crust. Yeah. So we are making green bell pepper pizzas. Okay. This is like the simplest thing in the world, and you know what? My husband likes it. My kids like it, and it's healthful. So you know, if you're looking to cut some carbs this summer, this is an easy, easy summer recipe. So all I'm going to do, we need green bell peppers, you need some kind of pizza or pasta sauce, you mm -hmm. need shredded cheese and whatever toppings. And all you do is you cut it in half and then you're going to obviously want to take the seeds out of those peppers. Yes. So here we go with that. Oh, this is actually a lot easier than making pizza crust. Okay, so I'm going to do that with I'm a couple getting, of yeah. them. Oh, you okay. You see where I'm going with this? I, I am. All of a sudden, I'm thinking like stuffed peppers. Now, that do you sort of like thing. peppers on your pizza? Uh, uh, that might be a necessity uh, before you make this. Well, no. The, the whole thing is, uh, if the pizza's there and it has, uh -huh. has peppers on it, I'll eat it. Will I order peppers? Probably not. Oh, okay. But peppers are good, and you can get very varied sweetness of peppers and things like that. So Yes, you could go with red. You could go with something a little spicier. Uh -huh. But uh, basic, basic, I just use the green bell. So let me just cut this one, and then all we're going to do is put our sauce and our toppings on it, and then you bake it. So that's it. That is literally it. That's so I didn't bring a ton of toppings for you simple. today, but what I brought you, first yeah. of all, I actually didn't go straight to the pizza sauce. I found pasta sauce first and I was kind of in a hurry, so I grabbed it and I've used that plenty of times. It's about the same, right? Pizza sauce, pasta sauce. If it's good, it probably doesn't make any difference. Yes, I'm making a Whatever huge Whatever you I'm call it. I'm making a huge mess. You are, you're but just you're, making a mess, you're but that's this okay. Up, right? Okay. Yes. Can you please hand me that sauce? I can. Okay. All right, so there you go. All you have to do is spoon it in there. I kind of coat the edges a little bit. Right. Okay, and as much or as little as you want. I know some people love sauce and some people want to use it sparingly. Sure. So, so you're, right now you're you using a couple it. of tablespoons in each. Yeah. But vary that according to taste. All right. Exactly. So okay. now can you hand me those uh, mushrooms? Do you like mushrooms? Depends on how they're made. <laughs> how about in pizzas with bell peppers? <laughs> I've never had it. As, I, I've never had the closest I've, I've come to having something like this is stuffed peppers. Okay, I can't open that with my gloves. <laughs> Thank you. You want me to just here. dump them out Actually, here? Actually, I was going to cut them. Okay. Put them there for a second. This way, I won't touch the the, the mushrooms. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I'm just going to Fresh cut mushrooms too. a little few pieces here, Okay. kind of sprinkle them in, maybe not on all of them in case someone doesn't like mushrooms, but I'll put them on a couple. Okay, here's sure. the cheese. Okay. And any kind of cheese you would like. This is a mix. It's got, uh, what is that anyway? Oh, it's got, it's mar Pum yeah, it's Marble Jack. Okay. So you've probably yeah. got some cheddar and some Monterey some Jack, Jack, things okay. like that. This is what I load on. I am a cheese eater, so I like pile it on, okay? Yeah, you can't go wrong with extra yes. cheese. Yes, okay, so give me pepperoni. All right. Again, and use any toppings that you like. If there's anything. See how this goes? I don't want to spill them all over pizza. the place. And you know, they look small, but you know, about one and a half, maybe two, if I'm really hungry, it really fills me up. So, you know, for just being a bunch of vegetables and cheese, it does fill you up pretty good. That actually does look pretty good, and they're kind of self-contained. That yeah. sort of does. So yeah. then, you you take this, add whatever you want to right. it. I would suppose. Right. Then what do you do from here? You are gonna bake it at 350 until it's as soft as you want it, which there's no wrong answer. Maybe 20 minutes as a guideline, but you know, if you want it softer, put it in longer. You know. Not bad. So you bad. can you can have it as a side dish, but I eat it as a main, and it works out really well. Okay, so, pretty simple. Yeah, Thanks. It is. All right, up next, more from Price Cutter. Ozark Side will be right back.